Hey guys, what's happening? Dad and I want to go work out in the freestyle barn, work on some lights. We have telehandlers at our disposal so we can actually reach them. I'm going to use the Manitou. I'm going to put the forks on it and then we have a little cage that we use to lift people up if we want to work on things high in the air. Definitely not safe to be up in the bucket if you're going to go up 15, 20 feet. drop the bucket off. I have this auxiliary valve switch just for safety so there's no way we can unlatch the bucket. I don't think it would be necessary because there's also the safety button right there. Just been a lot of fun using the uh, two telehandlers. Normally to do a job like this we'd be renting a lifter and then trying to accomplish all this type of work the same day when you have a telehandler like this hey you want to go work on some lights yeah sure do one today one tomorrow seven today three tomorrow gotta find this little man basket yeah it's sitting right back here I don't think this basket has a chain on it. I'd like to have something so I can attach it to the fork so it can't slide off the front. Guess I'll get out of the shop and tie a rope on there or something. Just in case dad accidentally tilts it down or something. Just get something to tie that onto there. got the lights right up there some of them aren't working we want to maybe replace bulbs or see what the deal is not 100% sure that we're gonna be able to reach from this angle but we'll try it when we run a big lifter we can get it get to it from in the, the middle of the barn uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to do it with this tow handler too well. No, I guess we got to go in the pen. That almost worked. Yeah, well it has great reach, but that's pushing the limit a little bit, I guess. I got some light bulbs. Okay, that'll work. Yeah, it doesn't look like uh, it's converted. So we've been converting these over to LEDs. Some of them aren't changed. Yeah. This light hadn't been working. It had the old bulbs in. We want to put LED bulbs. So we got to take the ballast out. I got to take this metal off so I can get to it. At least one of these pieces of metal off. We can just direct wire it, put these LED bulbs in. Yeah, this is pretty handy. Usually Dad and I would both be up in the lifter at the same time, but the thing is, if you need to go get tools or something, then no one can go get them. Dad wanted to get me a Phillips, so I'll just wait for that. Hopefully he brings me a soda too, you know what I mean? Kind of doubt it's going to happen though.
So all I need to do is cut these wires. I want a direct wire. I'll put all the blues into the uh, to one of these. Yeah, so it's running the power through these ballasts. Don't exactly know what they do, but they don't need to be here for the LED lights. Just cut these wires off. We'll take both reds, put them with the black. And I got six blue wires, we'll put them with the white. We got these all wired together. Push these back up inside. I hope this works. Okay, go ahead. Oh. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, I just Maybe I should be an electrician. Most of the lights are working. We already switched them over. I think there's one or two that need to be done yet. I don't know if we're gonna do them right now. We're just not familiar with the dimensions of the machine sitting in the cab. It's hard to know where this right side is. It's one thing with the telehandler, you can really see good on that cab side. This side, not quite as good. Things pretty nimble though that four-wheel steering. We only have four light bulbs left. We need more of them to, to do any more lights anyway. We'll just park that in the shed. We can get it tomorrow. The afternoon milkers are finishing up now. They have the special needs group over in the parlor milking. Yesterday I went and hooked up the neighbor's rototiller onto our international tractor. I want to try and stir this pen pack up a little bit. So I'm gonna chase these pre-fresh cows to the scrape alley and then we can go get that tractor. Let's go. So we put sawdust in this pen every other day. It takes a lot of bedding, mixes with the manure. It's a really comfortable pen. There is some composting that naturally happens, but if you can stir some air into that, it should help those bugs even more and help that compost. There's one other thing I want to grab before we go start tilling. We got another bag of this product called Breakdown. This is the stuff we put in our liquid manure pits, but you can also use it for bed pack. Dry manure, one pound per hundred square feet per year. Just need to do a little math. The pen up there is 64 by 30, 19.2 pounds per year. So it doesn't take a lot of this stuff to treat a pack. So I'll just weigh two pounds of this product out. We'll go sprinkle it on the surface and then I want to stir that in with the rototiller. Is that enough? That's all you have to put on? 19 pounds a year for that pen. It's a real light layer. Doesn't take much. The pack might be a foot deep by now. Something like that. So hopefully we can stir the whole way down to the floor. This is how dad used to plant corn as a kid, so he knows how to spread it. All right, Eric's coming in here with the tiller. A shout out to my friend Dan. This is his old tractor. Still chugging away.
does a nice job of stirring it up. this is doing is putting air in with the manure more so it composts starts the composting quicker you can see how it raises it up it's up maybe three four inches higher than the other it's fluffing it up you can see the heat coming off a little bit yeah that'll be interesting to see I figured it'll at least help the fertilizer value if it doesn't help the bedding last longer. See, it'd be nice if we could make that gate swing. If these two gates would lock together like they yeah. do in our heifer barn, then we could have that post out of there. Yeah, I agree. It'd be nice for cleaning out, too. I just want to see how deep it's digging. If it's going the whole way down, it's so fluffy. Yeah, it looks like it goes down pretty good. There, it's solid. Not quite to the floor. I've heard some people say that rototillers, it kind of makes the bedding so fine that it kind of repacks and doesn't let oxygen down very well. So I don't know, maybe some sort of plow or harrow type cultivator would be better. The cow's interested. We'll go park this in the shed. Thanks for watching, we'll see you later.